Welcome everybody to ILW Battleground. We are here at a sold out Barclays Center live in New York City for Battleground. And this is the pre-show. We're going to kick it off with Bruce Buffer. Thank you, please. Logan Paul first carrying cross will kick off tonight's show for the YouTube Championship. And here's the internet superstar, Logan Paul, making his in one of the debut for the YouTube Championship against the always dominant cross. Logan did make his debut at WrestleMania was unsuccessful in the Continental Championship match. Can he change that tonight and take down Karen Cross? Always dark, always ominous, always brutal. Karen Cross is on his way to the ring right now with that illustrious YouTube championship that he took off the waist of our current pure champion, Hangman Adam Page. And no one has been able to defeat him since. He's taken down many of men as of late. It was his latest victim was Jeff Hardy. Will Logan Paul receive the same fate? Or can he use his superstar athleticism and charisma to take down Cross? You see, that's what we're fighting for tonight. That YouTube championship. Logan Paul asking for a handshake. But Cross is not playing any game for Paul. Taking it right to him as the bell rings. Stiff kicks and strikes. As we know, Cross has that Muay Thai mixed martial arts background. But the athleticism, Paul, seems to be getting the better of Cross. Over the top. With a shoulder to the gut. Here Paul goes with a roll up. Feet on the ropes, gonna get it. Oh, nope, only a two. Paul looks a little disappointed, but he's not gonna be able to take Cross out that easy. Cross with an overhead throw. Just the power seems too much for Logan Paul. These strikes, man. I don't know how Paul's still on his feet. That Floyd Mayweather wasn't hitting Paul like this. But Paul moves out of the way of that kick. Athleticism up on the apron. And here Cross goes. Oh my God, with a Death Valley driver on the ring apron. As we know, that is the hardest part of the apron. Can you get the three? It's a one, a two. Paul kicks out. Logan definitely has fight in him, no doubt about it. Quick reversal, got him by the arm. Is he climbing up? He's climbing up to the top. Hurry, come run up by Logan Paul. That speed is something else. Kick to the face. I was getting better across with a standing moonsault. Is that it? A standing shooting star cross as well. Can get the three, two. No, just the two count. Logan Paul looks slightly disappointed. I hope he didn't think he was getting it there. I don't know what Paul's plan is here. Maybe to try to wear the big man down. But that's going to be a tall task. Cross to his feet. Slings Logan over his shoulders. Logan gets out of the ring quickly. Smart man. Kick to the head as Cross is trying to get out of the ring. And he sends Cross to the floor. Can Paul take advantage? Can he get the upper hand over Cross? Springboard dive to the outside, takes down Karrion Cross. Logan Paul is on fire, guys. Put Cross back in the ring so he can capitalize. Can Paul get the victory? It looks like he's going for his signature frog splash. 
and it is beautiful. Connects. Paul needs to get the cover. Crawls out of nowhere with that forearm to the back of the head with a doomsday Saido to follow up. Cross looks to be going for the cross jacket, but Paul rolls him up. One, two, three. Oh my God, look at Paul just beat Karrion Cross for the YouTube Championship. Our undefeated Karrion Cross just got pinned by the YouTube superstar. Cross can't believe it. He's in disbelief, but there is our new YouTube champion, Logan Paul. I have a feeling that this is going to be the start of a great reign for that young man. And I can't wait to see what Logan Paul has in store for us next. Up next, we do have the House of Black. Oh boy, are we excited to see what's next between Logan Paul and the Bloodline. But right now we have the House of Black defending their ILW Raw Tag Team Championships against two members of that Bloodline, the Usos. And guys, this all started at WrestleMania when the House of Black defeated FTR to become not one, but two Tag Team Champions in both the Raw and SmackDown Tag Team Champions. And tonight, they have to defend both titles. First off against the Usos in our pre-show for the Raw Tag Team titles. And then later tonight, live from the Hammerstein Ballroom against the Young Bucks. And here we have now the Bloodline, the Usos. This is their first time team that appear in ILW. But they are acclaimed Tag Team Champions all around the world, especially in the WWE double digit tag team champions. Some of the best tag team work ever done in our industry has been done by those men, but they have never faced a team quite like Buddy Matthews and Brody King. And we are starting off with Jay Uso versus Buddy Matthews and the speed of Matthews, the relentlessness came to the head. Matthews ducks under, goes for a roll up, but Jay Uso is not playing that game. He will not go down that easy. Drop kick to the face, puts Jay down, Jay's going for the tag. Matthews too quick with a swift knee strike to the face. Jay going to hit with that power bomb, and he swoops over the top. Super kick. The Usos always have one of those in their back pocket. We got our first tag of the night. Second one, here comes Brody King and Jimmy Uso. Brody King barrels through Jimmy. Here he goes with that splash. Ooh, I don't know if, if, if Jimmy can take it. the power of Brody King. How is he going to match it? I don't know if it's possible. A man like Brody King moves so fast, so agile, and it's so unpredictable. Not to mention his ruthless and destructive behavior it makes it hard to even fathom how to go against the man like him. Especially when he's dropping you in your head. Jay Uso asking for a tag, Brody King is not pulling with that huge lariat straight to the face of Jimmy Uso. Jimmy's trying to ask for some guidance for his wise man. I don't know if there's much guidance you can get, but 
Chin with a swift integrity to the head, a super kick to the chin of Cody. Can he get him up for some long drop? Going to him versus goes for the power bomb. There we go with the tag team expertise. Cody got the power bomb, but he will not get the pin. And then it goes Jay Uso off the top rope with a cross body that gets caught and hit with a fall of his slam. Cody King quick tag out. Going for a tag team move with a double stomp pull with a knee. Jay, sorry, Jay Uso goes down for the one, two. Only a two count. Jay is not going to give up that easy. Once again, they are tag team experts. They don't give up on this, and I guarantee they're not going to walk away without a fight, especially as Todd Kelly's in the line, and Paul Heyman in the corner doing things like that to, to you know, even the playing field. But our ref is not having any of it. He's sending Paul to the back. Paul Heyman is livid. He is pissed off. He is not playing this game. Jay went for a spin, got reversed into a roll up. Two. Oh boy, Jimmy with the save. Pulling the ref out of the ring. The ref was baffled, but Cody King is not having any of Uso's tactics with that swift repeat on the outside. Cody Matthews with the kick strikes and the knee to the jaw. Jay Uso. With the reverse, the Samoan One, two. Kelly King breaks it up at the last second. That could have been it, guys. Jay puts it Kelly King into Buddy Matthews. Super kick. But a knee strike to the face. Matthews going for a knee strike. Super kick. Oh my god. Right out of mid air. Could this be a. Look, Matthews kicks out. That is crazy. I have never seen a move like that. The the timing for for Jay to be able to reverse in that situation is crazy. The Uzo is an excellent tag team. Remember, uh, uh, Freddy King with another breakup. That could have been it. That could have been it. Freddy King going to take on both men. The ends of the super kick combo takes Freddy down. Matthews on the middle of the closing of Jay out of the room. But the Israel always had something up their sleeve. Could it be, could it be the one D? Buddy Matthews reverses with a meteora. And Jay Uso with a rock bottom. Oh my God. Like I said, the bloodline goes deep. And he got deep in the bag for that. Buddy King going for a pile driver in the apron. That could be it. Nope. Brody gets dropped on his head in the apron. And in the middle of the ring, Jimmy hits the Kishi driver. Jay Uso follows with a big Uso splash. He's calling for it. Jay is calling for one, three, one, and done. This could be it. Could we have new Raw Tag Team Champions? Matthew gets up slow to his feet. Jimmy Forrest picks him up. One, and Darwin, are we going to have new tag team champions? One, two, Cody goes to stop it, Jay gets him first, and we have new world tag team champions, the Usos and Malachi Black couldn't have more disappointed. In their first match as a tag team, we have new IOW Smackdown tag team champions.